Hello everybody and welcome to another stream. Today we are taking a look at NIMBY Rails and we're going to start like a little sort of mini series uh, on NIMBY. So we're going to be looking at um, uh, trying to uh, trying to trying to sort of reconnect the UK. There's been some natural disaster and uh, for some reason all of the trains around the UK, uh, all of the train lines, sorry, they're all they're all dead. You know, there is I can hear myself. Start like a little... Yep. So, hello Forbes, how's it going, man? Yeah, so we are going to start a new game with NIMBY. And so we are going to randomize and stop financial commuting. You know what? That sounds like me because I'm currently studying, uh, some of you may know, currently studying to uh, be a bookkeeper and accountant. So there we are, financial commuting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Bend that out of the way. And now nothing's working. Sorry. There we are. That's a little bit better now. Sounds familiar. Happy days, mate. Right, so, uh, mods. Uh, where do you couple? So, mainly just trains. So, we're going to use all of them. Right, let's, uh, let's get in. So, let's start. And that's it. This is, for those of you that don't know, this is NIMBY Rails. So it is 100% open world. Like, you can build absolutely anywhere. So if you want to build in Ho Chi Minh, come down here, and all of a sudden you can build train tracks, train stations in Ho Chi Minh City. But we're not focusing over here today. We are coming up to the good old UK. And we're going to start off in the capital, London. We are going to be starting to reconnect the UK after this apocalyptic event of the railways collapsing. Uh, we're going to start in Waterloo. But we're not actually going to start in Waterloo. So this is Waterloo Station here. And you can see here, this is where the train tracks used to run. So here's Vauxhall. And then it's, if you follow it down, follow it down, follow it down, you eventually get to Clapham Junction. And this is where the line splits, where you can go off north through Putney, or you can come down south, I believe it's Wimbledon. Yeah, Wimbledon. Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, then Rains Park, it splits off again, where you can go New Malden, Kingston-upon-Thames, you know, all the way down here. So this is the route we're going to be looking at today. This is literally just a chill stream, uh, nothing, nothing to worry about, you know, we're just having a good time. Uh, we've got some lo-fi on in the background, um, which is going to be great. Apparently... Twitch and streamer friendly, so let's hope that the title hasn't lied. Um, to be honest, I probably should have checked the uh, check the comments, but uh, yeah. So Twitch and streamer friendly. So happy days. Right, I'm gonna get rid of that just there. Cool. I'm gonna open up my stream again so that I can keep an eye on the chat. So. Let's make a start. What we're going to do is we're going to start. We're going to make a start at Clapham, I think. So you can see here, you can see roughly where all the um, where all the different platforms are here. Now I'm not going to be following it 100%. Um, so there will be some deviations, but this is this is the general route we're going to follow, and we've got the right fitting trains for it as well. So here we are, the class 444. So that is South uh, Western Railway. And we've also got the, um, what's the other one you use? 450 as well. And I believe, have I gone past it? I believe we've got the commuter one as well somewhere. Yeah, here it is, class one, uh, I think this is it. 196, I'm gonna double check that. Class 196, I think that is, uh, Apparently not. Oh, well, not the end of the world. We've got lovely trains. Lovely trains. I'm gonna build a wall. Yeah, don't get... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, mate, that wouldn't have gone well. <laughs> but the thing is, with, with NIMBY, there is no sound. So that it kind of sucks a little bit. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And, again, if, uh, if this live doesn't actually end up getting on to uh, YouTube afterwards, then hey-ho. So yeah, right, let's make a start then. So, first station, first station, right. 
Which one? You know what? Let's just start at Clapham. No, Clapham? Um, Waterloo. So, we're going to come to Tracks. We're going to new station platforms. And this is it. So, if we build this coming out here, we'll have 180 meters here. Nope. But yeah, we'll take it to 190 meters. There we are. Right. Oh, no, don't do that. Right. And then come back to here. We're going to rename this. I'd love to rename it. <laughs> anyway, right. That's not it. That's not too important right now. So let us. There must be a way that I can get rid of these tracks here. Ta-da. Ta-da. There we are. And now, if uh, if everything would like to work for me, can I copy and paste now? I can. Look at that. Beautiful. Get it all lined up. Lovely. There we are. Right, so there we are. We have three, well, one, two, three, four, five, six platforms now. And yeah. Cool. Right, info. You. Selection. We'll change the names later on. They're not too important right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the tracks. Obviously, they're going to come down here. They're going to follow. We're going to hang to the right at the moment. And then we've got Voxel here. So we're going to build the stations now. I always find it's easier to build the stations than, than build the tracks. I'm trying to remember how many platforms Voxel has. It's not too important, but we'll get one here, roughly about the same same length. We'll try and make it 180 meters. And then we'll just get another one coming in as well. And 80 meters lovely right and then so that gives us eight sorry four tracks so then these are going to come up here like this this is just um this is just uh the high speed ground so this isn't what we need right now we need the medium speed ground at the moment because there is no need for it to be high speed yet this is just slow track taking us into the city of London so then it's going to come around here like so yeah you can see the concentration needed means I won't be able to speak quite as much so not having any sounds in the background would be dire Here we go. This is us coming, coming around the bend here. And then what we're going to do just for now is we're going to come to here. We're going to have that link to here. We're going to have a branch line coming off here. No, nobody needs that. Branch line coming off to here, connecting up to there. Have a branch line coming off here, connecting up to there. Right, so that's three platforms. Sorry, three six platforms connected to the one line now uh, which is happy days and then from voxel we're gonna have this one continue off down here and we're gonna have the branch line here connecting up there like that lovely right so that is voxel and uh waterloo all connected up now lovely so then we've got nine elm and we got uh, Clapham. So, we're not going to build the Nine Elm station just yet. Oh, yeah, this is the delicious part, isn't it? Right, so we're going to have that come across there. So, a nice little overpass for the road. Keep hanging to the right as much as I can. I think this is a Victoria. Yeah, this is this is Victoria's up here. So this is a Victoria line that cuts off and comes down here. Right, so then we're just gonna keep coming down. Keep it hanging to the right as much as we can. Obviously 
obviously that's absolutely fine. We want to keep it straight now. So then this is where it can get a bit messy. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a couple of platforms here just at the moment. So they're going to be quite long. Uh, not quite that long. <laughs> so we're going to build... Oh, no. Station T. Not played this in a while. So this... It's not long enough. Right here. This is what we're going to do here. So, still don't like that placement very much. So, we'll come along here. 250 meters there. I'll come along here. Nope, too close. Too close. And we're going to do another 250 meters. Here. So these are a bit longer because eventually this will connect up with Victoria as well, and we're obviously going to put some larger platforms in uh, into Waterloo as well. So, so up here we're probably going to have longer platforms up here, so it's like a 200 meter range. Um, right. So that's those platforms done, and then obviously down this side here we've got the. Um, got the Gatwick line coming down here so again that's a relatively long train Gatwick Express so hanging to the right as much as we can and then what we're gonna do is we are going to find a sweet spot to get this to work that's 194 there and I wonder actually can we right let's get rid of that again come into here that's 308 far too long we're going to do this one first. 258 meters. Right now, now I should. Nah, that's not how that works because that would be far too easy. Uh, right. So this is the curve that I want. Now, can I move this whole thing? Again, no, that would be far too easy, wouldn't it? We undo that. Let's select this whole platform here. Oh, I can do it like that as well. Nice. I think. Not sure. Uh, obviously, obviously not. Okay, right. Back to the drawing board. Uh, right. Oh, God, come here. Not that far. <laughs> not that close. Right, we'll do the shorter commuter lines first then I'm gonna bring this down to here everything comes down everything comes down here so that's fan fabby dozy that's a bit bit of a steep a uh, bit of a tight turn so let's bring this down like that and then not that one <laughs> Easiest, but hey, oh, that'll that'll do for now. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we will bring this here, bring this along, and this one is going to connect oh so nicely because I'm telling it to into there. And then what we'll do is we'll have branch lines coming off here, there, and everywhere here. So that's going to come down into there. That's a very awkwardly shaped station, I do have to say. Um, right, let's let's bring this further down here then. Right, that's that's a bit better. Right, cool. And then we've got. We're just going to leave this at one for now. We don't want to go too overboard because we've got to pay for all this. And then we're going to bring you up here, wrong way around, still the wrong way around, this way, yep, bring you up here, you're going to connect to there. And yeah, so this is Clapham so far, 
lovely 81,000 people around it. 82,000 and 38,000 around Victoria. Your WhatsApp alerts are coming through the stream, I think. Yeah, they are, dude. Um, just because I've got um, got it on the on the laptop as well. Apparently, I have three missed missed calls on WhatsApp. Nah, that's fine. They're from months ago. Right. So this is our first section of track. Um, so this is going to cost us forty-five million dollars to build. Um, yeah. So we'll keep building a little bit more because we've still got lots and lots of money. Uh, so we're going to come down. We're going to come down first. Just the the stopping line. So there's the first, this is Wimbledon Park, and then Wimbledon, right, let's build Wimbledon. So Wimbledon goes under the road here, so we're going to do this, mm, it's a bit long, we're going to do this, let's make it 200 meters, lovely, and then another one right here, absolutely not. Why is it suddenly doing it in the center now? Um, oh, it's because I've got bendy tracks on, isn't it? That will be why. Right. Perfect. And then we do have the branch line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull this station, this station, this platform out a little bit more so that we can have access to that branch line. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out another little bit there. 200 meters again. Right, so yeah, so this this track can come down here now. If we just do that. But it can also, obviously, go straight on as well. Great. Right, so, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this one out a little bit. And we're going to have the branch line. Don't know why they'd need to change, but just in case. What does this line go up to? This line goes up to Wandsworth. Okay, <laughs> you do you. And then it pops out again here. Will the mark, is this overground, is it? I don't know. But anyway, right, so there is one line there. Here is Clapham. Right, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the slightly the, we're gonna do the high speed line now. So that's gonna start here. No, it doesn't go this way. <laughs> ah. Right, start that again. Gonna start it here. High speed line. We'll tidy up the tracks and and what have you after the fact. But this line is going to be used by um, the likes of the Gatwick Express because you can see here we're getting much better speeds on this line. Uh, there we are. We're coming all the way down. I don't even I don't even sure if the Gatwick Express comes this way, to be brutally honest, but you know what? It does today. <laughs> because I want a high speed line. <laughs> then this is gonna be the line that links up wrong way. This is gonna be the line that links up here. This platform here, in fact, we could actually, what we could do is we could put a bypass because some of these are three and four lines in real life. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to go single track, we're going to go but, um, bypass line. Wee. So trains run from the right. There we are. So that is a bypass line for the station there. And then that's from the right going this way. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... Actually, you know what? We'll worry about this later once, once it gets busier. 
Uh, there we are. Cool. So that is our line connecting Clapham to Wimbledon. Now, where is... Is it Earlsfield? Yeah, Earlsfield. Right, where is the station? Because I think it's here. If I remember correctly. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to build a station right here. Nope, we, we definitely... That's a station, but we want double track. Double track. Lovely stuff. 180 meters. And we're going to bring our slow line... Medium speed slow line. First of all, we're going to come back in into the tracks as well. So here we are. Another overpass there. No, 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 no. Right, so there is our slow line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this out. We're going to delete this here. New track. Medium speed viaduct. Connect to here, please. And there we are. And then this will connect to there. Lovely stuff. So that's it done there. There's Earlsfield. There's Wimbledon. There's Clapham. All done in. Lovely. So from Wimbledon, we're going to go down to Rains Park. Rains Park's another splitting, another interchange. I, th I think that's what they're called. I'm sure uh, Joya will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so because it's got one track going one way and the other, another one going another way. So here is the first Rains Park platform. And then the other one is a bent one in it. <laughs> so this one we're just going to have 185 meters. That one's 200 meters. And I literally just said it needs to be a bendy one, and I didn't bend it. Cool, that'll do for now. And then let me start bending this. Well, I can't start bending it yet, but you know. So this is medium speed ground. There we are. So we're gonna bring the bring the station a little bit further down. Like so. Can I? I can. Lovely stuff. So now this line comes down from Rains Park, uh, Motspur Park, Worcester Park, Sloanfield, uh, Stone, Sloanfield, uh, Stoneley, uh, Epsom, uh, and then it also splits off after uh, after uh, Rains Park as well, and it goes uh, Malden Manor. Um, this is Borough of Kingston. So yeah, so we've got Molden Manor here. It's a great little Chinese there. Um, then we've got uh, do, 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 Chessington. And then there's Chessington World of Adventures here. But yeah. So, this, in fact, actually, this is the line we'll do just now. So, we'll come down here. In fact, no, we'll do the stations. Do, do the stations first. I always do the stations first. I lied. Right, here we are. That is far too long. Right, 200 meters, there or thereabouts. And then the next one is... I think it's here, actually. It's not very far between the two of them. I know that much. Oh, God, these stations are so long. Right. 200 meters... And then the last one, I don't know where the last station is exactly, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pay attention to the actual real station location, I'm just gonna put it where it's gonna benefit us the most in terms of catchment, because that's gonna capture all of this. Whereas if I put it all the way down here, it might, there might be a gap here. So, right, there's Chessington, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a depot down here 
just so that uh, when the time comes we've got a depot at the end of the line. Right, so now let's start connecting these up, shall we? Ta-da, 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 there we are, there's that one, this is uh, Tolworth, I think, yeah, Tolworth, right, then we're going to come along here, going to do there, this is Molden Manor, come along here, come along here, Again, this is the this is the branch line. So this is when it joins back up to the second. Ooh, I have missed a station. Haha. Sometimes this gives it away. If there's one of these, it tends to be a station there. Actually, why don't I move the camera slightly? <laughs> so that I can actually see. You guys can actually see, sorry. Right, let's go here. Make this one a little bit longer, 200 meters. Nice. Nice. Cool. Let's connect these up. West Barnes. Again, this potentially could be a station, but considering the overlay we've got, we don't need to worry about that. And then here we are. That is connected up, so now we just need to do the last couple of lines. Oh, 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 oh my. Just gonna hug the road here. And we're gonna bring this one out as well. Gonna continue on hugging the right hand side, the south side, sorry. Again, potentially another little station here but again they're well served by both of these stations so for this we're not going to worry about that and then we're going to have this one connect up to there lovely stuff we're going to have this one we're going to extend this one down a little bit sticking to the north side and we're also going to do this here nope wrong side ta-da ta-da do this here. No, wrong side. <laughs> Not far enough back. Ta -da there. We're going to do this here. Ta -da, ta -da. So the trains can cross over as well. Right, so that is us. Should be us, all connected from Chessington to Waterloo. So our bill is $103,000. So we're going to build. Can't be changed now. It's all locked in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a line. Here we are. Create a new line. The line shall be southwestern. Waterloo. Waterloo to Chessington. Base ticket price is going to be five. And then for every kilometer, it's going to be 25 cents. <laughs> Pence. Whatever. Right, so we're going to add waypoints to the line. Uh, sorry, we're going to add stops to the line. So as you can see here, it's marked up all the stations with arrows. It's as easy as choosing which platform you want it to leave from. We're going to go for... Why is it only doing this one? Oh, okay, yep. So we're going to go this one. I'm going to come down. I'm going to go this one. And it marks the route as well. So if you've made a mistake and you've not marked it out properly, it will tell you because it won't do the red line. Ellsfield. Aha. I've not connected this to anywhere. So, ah. Good good chance for me to show you the example. Right. If we now do here, it will put it in, but it says cannot find path. Uh-oh. So then what we do is we come back to tracks. What we're going to do is we're going to just continue off building this this line coming down here so it does as you can see it, it lets you build onto already existing tracks there we are now we're on Wimbledon approach ta-da there we are easy as that build all blueprints build lines you can see it's it's connected it up now 
Now we're going to come down to here, Rains Park. And you can see that our little crossover has worked, which is great. We're going to come down to here. And then we're going to go Molden Manor. That one. And we're going to go this one here because we're, we're returning back up the line now. And then we've literally just got to do the whole thing in reverse. It'd be nice if it did it automatically for you, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Right, now we're going to go back up this side. So you see how that changed to that side again. And now we're going to go here. Ellsfield, Clapham Junction. D. And then we don't need to do anything else because... The next stop is uh, the vaults, in this case Waterloo, so happy days. So service level is now full on the line, uh, it's currently 5.21 so we've got some rush hour traffic, so let's go and get our class 450. We're just going to have four cars on here, uh, you can see the length, four units at 81 meters, so if I do some quick calculations. 4 times 81. Should have done this well before. I'm confused. Oh! <laughs> 4 units, it is 81 meters. But you can also, on some of them, you can't on this one, but on some of them you can change the number of cars on them. I'm just having a look here. So see this one, you can make as long or as short as you want. Let's go back up to the 450, run an existing line, Waterloo to Chessington. We're going to get four of them, and we're going to buy them. You can see now they're going to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on this line. And here they come, out of nothingness. Ah, chicka chicka. So then it will wait a certain amount of time, in this case a couple of seconds, and then it will head off. And then the next one will come straight in behind it. And if we open up the line here, we can see the state, so the stops. God, it's been such a while since I've played this. The default timings, right? Interval wait first stop, right? So this will be um, cruise speed automatically done, interval time. So it keeps the trains equal, equal distance apart, roughly. So you can see this one's already past Clapham Junction. We are running slightly faster than real time. This one's getting ready to go. What I did there is I pressed it too many times and it's taken us an hour into the future. So you can see the trains are all equally spaced out. Now if we go back onto here, go back onto the line information and we go to accounting. You can see the running costs building up, the maintenance costs are building up. This is how much we've earned from fares, and this is how much money we've made in total. <laughs> so you can see, it's quite a decent amount, just from four trains on uh, on one route. So, and if even better, you can zoom in here, you can see there are 485 people waiting here. So loads of people want to go to Chessington Community College. So that would warrant to me, coming onto the line, uh, if we go to stops, then we can go to purchase new trains. And if we buy another two trains, right, these will come into existence at Waterloo, and then it'll automatically stop itself out, you know, balance itself out. So this one will go, another one will come in straight in behind it. Doesn't matter that there's a train literally just coming through Vauxhall at the moment, that train will wait. So you can see it's coming up here. It will literally just wait red signal so it'll wait for this train to leave we can speed up a little bit once this train leaves nine hundred and twenty dollars from this one stop here so far that train stops 221 people got off people are getting on and it's just balancing it out again keeping them all equal space apart which is great now where where you can start hemorrhaging money is um if we speed up time a little bit, if we go to one in the morning, right? If we have a look, see how many people are traveling. Eight people are traveling at the moment. So if we go to tickets for today, 
you can see this is our maintenance running cost and this is how much we've made from fares so we've only made 127 quid 26 quid because we're still losing losing money because not as many people travel at night time if we go to four in the morning uh yeah the other thing is because these are electric trains they don't have quite as much running cost as say some of the other ones which is great because we want to keep those costs down low now let's have a look 4 30 in the morning traffic starting to pick up a little bit yeah so that is that little little section down out of the whole of the british isles <laughs> Right, so let's do let's do some more stations. New station platforms. This one doesn't need to be bendy. This is here. 180 meters. Happy days. So that's a uh, Worcester Park. It's gonna come down here to Stonely. 180 meters have a look at the overlap so you can see here people that live right here or right here sorry can choose between whether they go to Stonely New Molden sorry um Molden Manor or um Goals which is Tolworth so if we do Stonely here then follow the line down follow 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 I can see there's a station here think seems like a seems like the right place for one so we're gonna do 100 and we're gonna make this one a little bit shorter 150 meters because these trains aren't overly overly long so see if we come here you see that's the length of the train that's the length of the platform sort of just future proofing as well for if you eventually put bigger trains down now this is the fun bit <laughs> trying to find where this station is in Epsom so I can see here there's a line here looking at the roads it looks like it comes in here and it looks like it comes to about here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one just here 180 meters right because I think this one's gonna come down here and onto that line. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to extend it out just a little bit. Cross the road there. And then it's going to come up, up, and up. It's on the up and up. There we are. So that's us now. We'll connect these stations up as well. Bring this one up here. Making sure we don't kill anybody. There's Worcester Park, and here's the line that's open at the moment. So what we are going to do is we're going to press B, get our branch line, and we're literally just going to, it's a bit far up to be honest, come here, branch line, and we are going to bring this down here, like so, and then we're just going to connect up the line like that. Wonderful stuff pull it back a little bit to there beautiful so that is this side done now as well so we're going to build these blueprints and then we're going to go back to pressing some buttons right so we're going to go new line we'll go southwestern WTRLO Waterloo to Epsom base ticket price is going to be 5 and price per kilometer is going to be 25 we're going to put it to full and we're going to make it nice and orange I've got to do that for this one I shall do it in a second right so you are going to use the same platform because you're going to have the same number of trains so hopefully touch wood it's all going to all gonna work out because <laughs> they share a lot of the track together in the beginning anyway right so here we are sharing the track sharing the track 
getting to Rains Park, showing the track still, and then this is where they split off. So they split off here, Stonely, Yule, and then here. And then back up we go. You can see this is this this can get quite annoying for when you do routes like on one of my other saves I've literally got 25% of the UK done. So I've got LNER routes, you know, going all the way up and it's like ah oh, click 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 click. But it's good fun. Right, so we're going to build build some trains, buy some trains. So we have six on the other line, so we're going to put six on this line. And boom. So now this is going to cause a little bit of a ruckus to start with because all these trains are going to go before it lets any other trains lets any other trains in. So you can see we've already got a queue here now. But once that settles down, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom forward a couple of hours. And then there they are. All working. Almost in unison. Still a little bit little bit toit but what we can do is then we can have a look so what we'll do is we're going to skip through the next full day so this is tuesday the 28th of june 2022 we're going to skip through this whole day um and see who's doing better passenger number wise things like that so how we're going to do that is we're going to go to we're going to click on a train we'll do this one first right accounting passengers Started trip twenty six thousand and ninety five. Right, twenty six thousand and ninety five passengers got on Chessington. Then this one here, passengers. Oh, wait, what? Ah, haha. I looked at the wrong bit. That's why. Right. So yeah. Sorry. Twenty six thousand and ninety five passengers started their journey on Sunday, the twenty sixth of June. So we want to bring this forward to Tuesday. So you can see here, a bit better. Ninety thousand passengers started their trips. One hundred and one thousand boarded their train. Don't ask me how those numbers match up, but you know, um, fifteen thousand people transferred onto the Epsom line. So let's have a look here. 95,000 passengers started their trip, 10,000 transferred, 111,000 boarded the trains, and 100,000 reached their destination. So you can see this, the, the Chessington line, is quieter than the Epsom line. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to Chessington now because a lot of the traffic will be coming to Wimbledon, you know, uh, West Barnes, Rains Park, Clapham Junction. All of those are serviced by these two lines now. So we don't have the need... That we had before to have four trains uh, sorry six trains on the chessington line so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to chessington uh we're going to go to do, 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 trains uh here we are sorry trains waterloo chessington what we're going to do is we are going to put them away so we're going to put them into our lovely lovely depot that we've got down here so I just want to double check with myself. Yes, they run on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go new track, make it single track. From the right hand side, we're going to grab it. We're going to bring it down here. Ta-da. Right, now it's going to come out here. It's going to turn around. Do -do 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 it's going to come back. It's going to get nice and snug with the line. It's going to connect up there. So that is now a full, full loop. So we're going to build that. <laughs> and we're going to see what happens now when this train gets here. It just turns around. Perfect. So now what happens if I come to a train, you're coming down. We're going to get rid of everything here. And we're going to say you are going to store in a depot. So then we're going to pick the depot. We're going to come down to this depot. We're going to click it. And that's what that train is now going to do. So now if I zoom in on this train. I said go to the train. Okay, let's just, let's just close that off then. Right. You can see here the train went into the depot. Now people aren't happy and it's going to take some time of rejigging the network to get, to get it back to the way it should be. But what we're going to do now as well 
So we're going to take another train off. So we're going to take one more train off. We're going to delete it all. Order. Store in a depot. Pick the depot. We're going to come down here. Chessington. And now that train will turn around. So that'll ease some congestion on this uh, rather narrow line. Let's see here a little bit. Yeah, they've already turned around and gone back. Again, it's going to take some rejigging as well, just because there's now not as many trains as there was before. Things like that. So yeah, it'll sort itself out. If we go forward a little bit. See that one left, didn't cause any hold up. This one, 30 seconds. And of course, what you can also do, if it is, if the holdups are getting really bad, all you do is you come in here, you delete A, you tell it to go to J, you move that one back up, and that's it sorted now. So now the Epsom line runs off of this platform. Once we actually see one coming in, there we are. So there goes the Epsom line, there goes the Chessington line. So it's very good, very nice. Right, so where are we going to expand to now? I think we've got some lovely money coming in, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Where are we going to look at going now? Um, let's have a look. This is Victoria here. We could connect this down to um, Clapham. Or what we could do is we could bring Clapham out a, a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Putney. Putney is four stations. Four stations. Four, uh, four tracks. That is not what I want. Putney is four tracks. Sure, we'll make them 190 meters because I feel nice today. We want it to be here. There we are. That's a little bit squint down here. Uh, let's fix that. No overlappings, please. Lovely. Right, so there's Putney. Little tiny bit of uh, unserviced area here in Wandsworth. But I'm sure that'll fix itself later. So then here, we have another line split here. So this goes north uh, towards, well, in the direction of Chiswick and Brentford. And then down here, this goes East Sheen. Uh, there's Barnes there. Um, north Sheen, Richmond. So then Richmond. So this is a bit like a uh, bit like a loop here. So Richmond comes down here. Twickenham, Strawberry Hill, Teddington, uh, Hampton Wick, kingston upon thames and then it comes down here, New Malden. And then Rains Park. So you could literally have trains doing this loop. You know, there's Heathrow there. Wait, we've landed there many times on this channel. Uh, actually, I say that many times. We've, we've not done Heathrow many times on this channel for, for good reasons. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So here we are. We're going to come down here. We're going to do... There's Rosslyn Park Football Club. I don't know if there is a station here. But I'm going to presume that there is. Because... Oh. Yes, there is. It looks like it's right there. So we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this two two platforms as well. So as I'm bringing it out more because you see, the longer you make it in that direction, the the longer it is. The, sorry, the more the circle, the area of influence, I think it's called, um, travels. So there we are. 180 and 180. Nice, there's another station there. Just for good measure, we're going to bring this line up here. We're going to bring this line down here. And we are going to add a crossover from this one, just because I know I'll mess it up at some point. Crossover going up and down. So, right, let's have a look, find out where the next station is. 
So next station is going to be here or here. <laughs> or here. It's going to be here. So we're going to go back to single. We want this one to be bendy. If you please. So we're going to go back to single. Eighty meters. Bring the line here. Bring the line there. Cool. So that is. I don't know where that is actually. Um, but there's a station there now. <laughs> and then we've got North Sheen here. So here is what it looks like. It's another station here so that's track that's not a station right we're gonna go here 180 meters and we're gonna bring it round around around like so I'm gonna bring this one around to just a little bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another one we're gonna actually put it somewhere useful <laughs> but actually you know what this one doesn't need to be a bendy one there. We're going to extend it out as much as we need. 180 meters straight in, straight down here. And then this one's just going to follow down there. Lovely stuff. Right. So, and then from here we've got two lines again. I don't want you to connect. I just want you to sit next to each other. Right. And then this is Richmond. So, from Richmond, we've got this line here, which then comes across here. It goes up and around, and then down to Strawberry Hill. And then we've got lines that go out. I think these lines actually go out of London, Ashford. Yeah, I think they do. Oh, no, this is the line. I've been on this line before. I bought a van from... Uh, where was it? somewhere over here I think it was Staines was like the largest place uh, near, well, the, the, the town name I think it was, was it Wisbury no I'm not sure but anyway yeah been on this line uh, right okay we're getting pretty close to midnight so we're gonna run the day see how well we're doing money wise and just look at that money going up and up and up and then look how much it slows down at night time as well Right, so let's have a look at uh, company and accounting. Accounting, we're looking for yesterday, so Thursday. So in total, we made a million dollars yesterday, 1.2 million. Our running costs were $82,000 and maintenance was $18,000. So yeah, 174,000 passengers, nice. So yep, yeah, so this is Richmond this is, uh, I don't know what this is. This probably isn't even a station, to be perfectly honest, but... <laughs> at this point... <laughs> we're going to do two stations. Two... No. We're going to do two, uh, two platforms. 180 meters, please. There we are. Not too many people in Richmond, apparently. There's one there, and then we'll get the other one. A ding dong. And there's the other one. Cool. So then we're going to bring this track down here, like so. We're going to connect this one up as well, like so. And then, of course, oh, wrong one. I'm going to bring this up here, like so. We're going to bring this one. Oh bring this one down here connect them up like that and do the same for vice versa uh, we're gonna do this one a little bit closer change that control Z get rid of it okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to here do a line here like so there we are so there's a crossover there so they can change directions I've just built the blueprints didn't want to but hey ho here we are <laughs> <laughs> then after here it's going to extend out here it's going to go this way and then this this track will just follow in follow in next door like so and then 
what are we going to do? So we need to connect up the uh, the tracks as well. So we're going to do that now. Happy days. We'll bring you down here. So we're onto single track here. Ooh, narrow as well between the roads. <laughs> There we are. Right, okay, so there's Barnes. Bring you down. Haha, -ha, we're going to need a viaduct or something. There we are. And then is this Rains Park? No, Putney. Putney here. following literally along the side here you're crossing over at some point don't know why but you are haha -ha, you can be under <laughs> noise there we are so there is barns all connecting up so all of these are all connected now and then we just need to connect Putney to Duct. Again, another one. We're actually just going to do that one all the way over. Connected up to here to Clapham. Why did I think Rain's part? Oh, because we were talking about the other one. Right. So here is where Clapham will get interesting. <laughs> Is crossing over one. Oh, there we are. Jiggery pokery to get it to work. Five for a viaduct. Bring it back. Bring it back down now. One half this time. Two half. Another one. There we are. Bring these around. It's one thing I wish this uh, game had was the ability to place more than more than two tracks at once but hey it's still i think it's still in early access i think so let's get this built there we are so you can see we've actually got quite a bit of the line coming together now already i think i've just pressed f5 on my stream so it's going to uh yeah there we are stop that before that happens Right, so now we have the Richmond line. Great. Um, so now what we could do is we can create another line going from Waterloo to Richmond. Or we can keep building, come down to Strawberry Hill, come all the way around. Back up. Through Rains Park. And uh, back up here, where, where does it cross over here? So into Clapham, um, but Clapham, how would I get it to turn, turn around? Um, there has to be somewhere, I've seen it. I just don't know where, I just don't know where I've seen it. Um, yeah, unless we did some jiggery pokery to, you know, connect up these two platforms here or Something like that, yeah. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to lines. We're gonna actually, first of all, change you to a lovely southeast and orange. Sorry, southwest and orange. Then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go southwestern, Waterloo, not Eataloo. Waterloo to Rich. I spell that right. Rich M O N D. Yeah. Southwestern Orange. Five bucks and twenty-five cents. Service level. We're gonna make this full. And here we go. So, which platform shall we use? Which one has the least trains? That was Kingston. No, not Kingston. Sorry. Um, Chessington. 
So we're going to use the Chessington line. We're going to stop at Vauxhall. Because everything stops at Vauxhall. And then this is where we go different. We're going to go to C. Haha, -ha, new lines. Never touched before. Nope, not that one. Definitely don't want that one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to come down here. We're going to delete that last one. We're going to go E, not G. And this is just a single line here. And then we go back to double line here. And then there we are. So you see I press C and not A there. Because eventually I want to change this to continue on. So rather than pressing A, because we're going to need that later on, I press C. So then we're going to come back do E, A, that one, that one, that one, that one, and then again, leave it. So, interval weight all stops for this one. So we're going to buy some trains. We're going to buy four of them. See how it goes. Purchase. Again, we're now going to be making things wait just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up time, see how well it fixes itself, if it fixes itself at all. Actually, we're going to wait the full day as well. There we are. So that does not look too shabby. Again, it had to wait for like a little second then, but that's okay. Let's have a look, see what the day was like yesterday. So what are we on now? We're on the 3rd of July, so Saturday was running costs of 41,000, maintenance of 24,000. In total, we made 674,000. It was Saturday. Sunday, so far, we've lost money. Oh, it's 5 in the morning. So, Friday 1st of July, we lost a load of money because we were building. So that's absolutely hunky-dory. And then Sunday's quite a slow day for, for travellers as well. You can see there's no mad morning rush because it's not, it's not a work day. So not as many people are travelling early in the morning. So later on, that's when it becomes really important to set up your... Uh, uh, depots and things because you don't want trains running unnecessarily at the moment it doesn't matter too much because we've got loads of money money's coming in look at that it's, it's flying in at the moment and uh yeah so if we just come back to here now then you can see eight in the morning on tuesday we've got 400 people at clapham we've got 32 here 64 here 30 40 you know so this realistically doesn't need too many trains but again we are going to extend this line out now and uh, so those four trains will come more in handy. <laughs> and actually, that's funny enough. Let's have a look yesterday, Monday, see how much money we made. We made 1.826 million yesterday. So 112,000 in running costs and 25,000 in maintenance. It's very good, very nice. We can also see here if we do this. We can see regions. So people like to travel, I believe, people like to travel in within their own region. So say if you lived here, you'd much rather go to Putney than you would to this other train stitch. I think that's how that works. But yeah, no, the whole world is blocked up into these regions. Apart from, uh, apart from Newfoundland, I guess. But yeah, the whole world's in, in, into these regions. Look at that. Big one for Highland. <laughs> Where I don't live anymore. And apparently I was going to say Leeds doesn't get a, Leeds doesn't get a region. <laughs> uh, right, we can also see population as well. So you can see it's quite spread out. Very, very dense in the centre. And uh, then as, as you come more out into the middle of nowhere, like up here, then... Uh, less and less population or even more in the middle of nowhere if you want to go all the way to unst then uh, yeah which is its own region as well apparently oh, there's there's some population <laughs> we found them uh right as well we can go to we can see line overlays so if we scroll back down you can see the lines rather than the tracks you can also see the speed overlays 
and you can see the track reservations as well. Now we've not set up signaling, we're not going to yet, because <laughs> I need to watch some tutorials on that as well. So let's get this line extended out, shall we? So after Richmond, we are going to be making a stop at the exchange for Twickenham. 180 meters, please, good sir. 180 meters, there we are. Right, so then we're going to do another one, but that is, uh -uh, no thank you. So we're going to come bring it down a little bit more, about there. And this one's going to be slightly longer, 206 meters, but that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We just need to avoid this road. So what we've done is we've demolished it, we've built a station over it instead. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this line all the way out here. This is the line that's going to go over the other lines. So we want fire duct now. And back to normal line. So there we are. So this is the line that's going to come down Strawberry Hill. And then this line shall continue on. And it shall go underneath this line. So, lovely stuff. Let's get this built over. Wrong one. Let's get this built over here. And then B again. A wrong one. <laughs> there we are. Do this here. Wrong one. There we are. Cross over there so that people can change over. Don't build the blueprint yet. Right. Next station. We are going to come down Strawberry Hill. Way. Strawberry Hill, 100 and doesn't need to be too long because it's only going to be served by the smaller, but well, smaller trains. But it's not not much uh, upgrading to do there. And then we've got Teddington, which the station is here. Again, you know, this is just a this is a circular route, so this is going to have trains constantly running on it in each direction. So again, we don't need to have too long because it's, the trains are going to be frequent. And then what have we got here? We've got the Hampton Wick here, here's the station, again, same thing, 150 meters, doesn't need to be too long, and then this is where we come into Kingston, happy days, so Kingston is, where is the train, so there it is, this is the big circular thing, out of order, <laughs> there's the library, there's the bus station, so the train station's, train station's here, yeah, the train station crosses over all of this lovely jubbly stuff. This lovely jubbly stuff is called roads. Something not invented in Scotland. So this is going to be 211 metres just to cross over all the roads. Going to bring it down a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Ta da. There we are. Two say it's two to two platforms four platforms but you know what I mean so we're gonna have normal for you have you come across here and then we're gonna have you switch to a viaduct haha -ha. make sure you've actually selected it and then we're gonna go back to normal and then we're gonna have you branch line Ta -da. Then we're gonna have you coming along here so this will stay as, as two track Sounds like a really bad rap name, that doesn't it? Two track. <laughs> and then it looks like it goes back to single track here. So what's this? This is Norberton. Mm, Norberton, why have you got to be so odd? Right here, let's bring this up to here then. Hundred and eighty meters. I could have put a bendy track in here, but I didn't want to. So there we are, that's crossing over there. Ha ha. And then you shall continue down the beaten path all by yourself. Lonely lonely track. And then what is here? This is 
Servitor. Oh yeah, this is the this is the line that goes way way out all the way. Goes all the way out. Goes away. So this is going to join onto here, and then this is going to meet at Rains Park. So we're going to bring you further down here, because I think there's a station not here. I think the station's here. Yeah. Oh, this is New Malden. Hang on. Right, hang on. Right, so... Roundabout. Come up to here. There's the rail. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, because there's, like, there's a McDonald's here, so... That's that's how I navigate this world. McDonald's. Uh, T for stations. You don't need... This one doesn't need to be too long. I know in reality they're the same length, but... And then this one can be slightly longer because you will have outbound trains on you. <clears throat> trains that are leaving forever. There's an awful car park there. Got a, got my first parking ticket there. You know what? I'm going to make you the same length. <laughs> Roughly. Cool. Right, there we are. And then you guys will continue on to Rains Park like nothing ever happened. So Rains Park, in theory, I think it has two, two platforms there, but we're going to do this here. Nope, continue past it. Down now, y'all. Boom. One hop this time. Dun. So that's these guys all connected up. And then we're going to get branch line. I said branch line. There we are. Coming down to there. Happy days. Right. So that's you set up there. You will be going away, away, away. But we're not going to do a crossover because we're not going to need one because I'm going to make sure all the trains that want to go this way will use the correct platform. There we are. Branch line. Wrong side. Branch line. Ta-da. We're just going to connect these stations up and then we'll be good to blueprint, build the blueprints and set the line up. So there is actually a line that comes off here as well, comes down, yeah, you just find them everywhere. And, yeah, so that'll meet with Strawberry Hill, so that'll just have to cut in a little bit, that's fine. And there is, that's it all connect, nope, not yet. Premature with that one. There's the joiner. Once we get um, signals in as well, it'll make everything run a lot smoother too. Oh, we're going to need you... Viaducts are not cheap. Try to use them as little as possible. And there's Richmond there. Right, so now we have the loop. The loop is done. Now what am I going to do with it? <laughs> That's the question. So I think what I'll do is I'll extend the Richmond line to Rains Park and then I'll have it turn around and come back. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I'm going to build all the blueprints, lines, Waterloo to Richmond 
So then what we want to do is we find Richmond here, and then we're going to build down here. So eventually the, the trains will actually start coming now while I'm still telling them where to go. Uh, that's not the one. Well, well, guess what? It's the one you're getting. Right, there we are. There we are. And then it's going to come into Rains Park. And then it will turn around. And it will go back. So you, you can see there we just saw... There it is. And then at the moment it's just going to go, go past everything at a million miles an hour. Because I've not finished selecting all the stations yet. There we are. Strawberry Hill. Richmond Fitness. Don't need you. And there we are. Cool. So now it looks a little bit derelict. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another two trains on it. Um, just because obviously we made it quite a bit longer. And we're going to have some lovely queues getting into Waterloo. <laughs> so we're going to speed up. See if it fixes itself. Which it looks like it has done all right. Yep. And the, the line looks quite populated. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skip forward. We're going to skip through, because it's Wednesday, so we're going to skip through Thursday, see how much money we're making. And there we are. Busy, busy Friday. Right. So let's have a look here. Let's look at the lines specifically. Accounting, Waterloo to Richmond. We need to change the name as well. So we've... We need yesterday. Thursday. 60,000 passengers. So it's quite a quiet line. Um, compared to our other two. Oh, actually, you know what? Those weren't awfully busy yesterday either. So Thursday, not a busy day to travel. So 60,000 passengers. 88,000 boarded the train. 26,000 of them reached the transfers. Wonderful. That all looks fine. Compensation waited too long. So 7,000 passengers got a refund. So we lost $51,000 on refunds. And 182000 on compensation. So you know what that calls for? If we had 10 days of that, if we had 100 days of that, we could afford to buy another train. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to buy some more trains. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to buy just... We'll buy two. See, it's already it's not crowded, but it's not. You know, it's not exactly underpopulated. I mean, how long are they having to wait here? So, what time is it? One. So they're having to wait. Hang on, let me try that again. Hang on. So I want to wait for it. So the train went that way at twenty-two. Another train went that way at tw eighteen minutes. Uh, not 18 minutes to uh, 12 minutes to so they're, they're just complaining for complaining's sake don't give them any refunds okay refunds no refund available okay okay uh right <laughs> so yeah let's actually you know what let's compare that as well to the other um to the other lines right so you had 182,000 of compensation you had no compensation you had no compensation but to be honest, it's still our second place line. Even with the comp... If we didn't have the compensation, it would overtake our Epsom line. It would overtake that on uh, money. So... That's the other thing we can do as well. So to try and make people a little bit happier, we can... Uh, in fact, let's change that. Waterloo to... Where is it? Where is it? It's Rains Park, isn't it? circle. Cool. So yeah, they're only having to wait 9 minutes and 11 seconds for each train. So bleh. We could also lower this down. So pence per kilometer, 15 pence of cents. That should make people a little bit happier as well. So we're going to skip through Oh, it's the weekend, isn't it? Right. So while it's the weekend, we're going to build some more track. So we're going to come down here, Surbiton. We're going to get 
two two platforms in there. A 180 meter boy, and then I'm gonna get a longer boy as well. So 200 and I don't know how long that one was, but yeah, we're gonna go for that. I think it was at 245 meters, I think. 250 meters, that's how long that bad boy is. I'll pull this one up just a little bit. There we are. Right, there's Victoria Park. Another split off comes out down here. Do you have a train here? So there's Hinchley Wood. So, platform please. 180 meters coming up. There we are little tiny gap here very very annoying but hopefully there is another station somewhere that will cover that yeah one here does that cover it it does indeed lovely right so then we're going to come down here next station is here 180 meters elm bridge and then we're coming down to here 180, please, good sir. There we are. And then the track comes down and around. Jiggle, jiggle. It folds. <laughs> We're going to place a station here. Place a station here. 180 meters. Lovely. Do we have another train line here at all? Doesn't look like it. See, these are sort of, we're getting into like the lower population ends now. Because we are almost at uh, Guildford. So then the track comes down and down and down. And then it disappears into the abyss. Oh no, here it is. Follow, follow, follow. So, now hi. 180 meters. <laughs> Another one here. Yes, this looks like it could be another one. 180 meters. Do they overlap much? Nope, not very much, which is good. Then the track comes along here. Along, along, along. Here's another station. So that's 350 meters. We don't need that. Alright, come along here. 180 meters. Again, 1,000 people. This, this line isn't going to be used very much. Well, it's going to be used a lot, but... That's only because it's uh, not going to have as many trains running on it. So then the track comes down here. Is this us coming? This is us coming into Guildford. So we're going to change around now. So there's a station there, and then here is Guildford's main stopping station, I think. Yeah, because we've got lines going north, lines going west, and lines going east. So we're going to have three platforms. And uh, the middle one's going to be very long, I've decided. 250 metres. So it's not very long. It's just long. That's what she said. Um, right. <laughs> it's quite enough of that Volker. And then you're going to come down here, and you're going to be 180 metres. <laughs> you up here and you're going to be 180 meters I'm going to pull you out a little bit as well just so that you're not overlapping too much oh wow that's quite it's quite an overlap actually so I can pull you out okay so you're about the same you get a little bit thinner towards the top so there we are Cool, and now we need to get rid of these bad boys because they are running over a road and it's telling me off for it. <laughs> there we are. And we need to get rid of you too. Ta da, ta da. Right, so there is Guildford. So then we're going to set up the lines here, so branch line, branch line, branch line, lovely. 
So we've got 21,000 people in Guildford. Let's see what that sort of adds up to in comparison to some of our London lines. So Chessington, 17. Marble Manor, that's 12. 15, 19. Rains Park, 22,000 Rains Park. So it's lunchtime on a Saturday. That means nothing. <laughs> So, where else can we put stations on this Guildford line? I think we're going to put here one here. 180 meters. And then we can put one here as well. And can you guess how long we're going to make it? 180 meters. So, there we are. So, that's 5,000. That's 13,000. That's 20,000 now, because obviously we took some away from it because we uh, stole some of its sphere of influence. Um, we're not going to worry about the other lines just yet. Out of interest, where does this line go? So this goes Maybury, Byfleet, Weybridge, Walton, Finchley. Oh. Is this just like a... Oh my days! It's just another line to Guildford. <laughs> How many passengers? 700. Although it's quite funny. If you go to like the local airport, so they're building an air... They're not building an airport. The airport's built. If you go to like my local airport, so Inverness, here. So they're building a station right here. 300 people in its sphere of influence. And most of them... Yeah, it's just... Oh, what, what are you doing? Delete. I don't want to depot in... Oh my god. Wait, hang on. Delete. There we are. What's this? Go away. Cool. Uh, right, so... This is a Guildford line. <laughs> a Guildford line. Not the Guildford line, because I presume that's this one. So this will be the high-capacity one. This will be the stopping service, basically. So, out of interest, let's have a look here. So, this can take... This travels at 160 kilometers an hour. It takes... 290 passengers. What about the other one we've got? So, we've got the other one here. There's one here, anyway. So, that is... 152 passengers. And that's max speed 161. Same operating cost. Maintenance cost, however. This is more expensive to maintain, so... Shooting ourselves in the foot already. <laughs> I like the Eurostar. <laughs> what? 13,000 a day. Uh, and then we've obviously got some of the default trains as well, which will come into play at some point, but I like just trying to use these where I can. And yes. We've got the Class 332s, which I think are the South Eastern Railway. And we've got one. 172s as well. <laughs> ah, this one. Sorry, this is the. This is. This is. Oh no, this is this not the one we've been using? I'm very confused at this point. No, this is the one we've been using. Whoops. But this is the higher capacity. Uh, higher capacity one. <laughs> it's got Cummins and Perkins. Oh, is this the? This is the shed on wheels. And yeah, so that's about the trains. Obviously, we've got the HST as well. Yeah, so we've got quite a few trains to choose from. Um, but yeah, I, I will. I'm not going to stick to the lines exactly. You know, it, 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 it's going to be what it'll be. But um, yeah, but I think we will just use this because this is same speed, but it's higher passenger capacity. Slightly more expensive per day maintenance wise, but should touch wood be worth it because this will be going through uh, densely populated areas. And wow, this is a lot of stations co to connect. So right, let's let's make a start on it. And I'm already doing the wrong line. <laughs> there we are zoom past there so it doesn't try and connect to itself wow we've been live for an hour and a half already so here we 
are coming down. There's one station connected. Yeah, clicking all the time can get rather tiring, um, especially when you're doing like the East Coast Mainline and, and what have you, because that is an awful lot of clicking. <laughs> There we are. This one here. We're gonna come. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get rid of you there. We'll come here, and then you're gonna come down. We're gonna come along here, cross the road. Then you're gonna connect up to here, and then we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Very therapeutic though playing this game. I'm come along here. There's a little bit of a jaggedy entrance there, but hey ho. and snug again you know it doesn't need to follow the the lines on the map exactly it just needs to get there the right way this is us coming into Guildford now Viaduct over this. I'm going to come down around. I'm going to come down. Nope, do not connect. Thank you. And then we're going to branch line. Ta da! Branch line. It's like park life. Branch line, there we are. I want you to continue up a bit more though, please, as well. Don't make your branch lines too... Don't make your... Yeah, don't make it too long, because otherwise it, it gets sad about it and starts drooping in on itself. Um, then I just want to throw you up there. Cool. Right, so now we should be, in theory, ready to... Nope. Here we are, I'm going to extend you out to here, branch line, no, wrong side, branch line, there we are, just for now, throwing it together so that it works, I think there's a station there, not anymore, you know what, that kind of would solve some of our problems. Hey, you almost got to see the cat. Guess how long it's going to be. 180 meters. Whoops, did I not give you enough time to guess? Did you need any more time? I don't think so. What do you want? He's meowing. Probably wants. Meow. You just want love and attention, don't you? Yes, you do. You needy, needy thing. That's actually all he wants. I touch him, he stops meowing. If I come back here. <laughs> Do it. Meow. Meow. <laughs> what do you want, boy? It's like, I want you to love me. Right, so, build all blueprints. <laughs> So now we have the Guildford line, in theory, done and done. Zoom in to edit. I don't want... Oh, show help. I need help. 
Right, so we are going to um, build a bigger platform. <laughs> no, we're not. We've got this one that's unused at the moment, so that's fine. So this train is 115 meters long. Standard 100. Okay, come here then. Come on. Cat cam. <laughs> There we are. I now have a cat on my lap, so I can't do anything anymore. Oh, he's getting cup. Oh, yes, no, you're so cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. Right. In fact, actually, you know what I can do? You know what I can do here? Video capture device. This is... No, I want the integrated camera. There we are. We now have a cat cam as well. <laughs> no, that's that one. You stay there. There we are. <laughs> oh, yes, you're just so cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, I just poked him in the face. Right, okay. So... Uh, sorry, I'm too busy laughing at my uh, cat cam. Right. Well, I don't even know where the mouse is anymore. Here it is. Right. So we are going to buy... No, we're not. We're going to set up the line. So this is going to be... Southeastern... No, Southwestern. W-R-T-L-O to Guildford, I think that's... Is that how you pronounce it? Guildford? Is it pronounce it? Spell it? Guildford, yeah. Um, so we're going to make this orange as well. We're going to make you five. And we're going to make you ten. Just because obviously it's a bit of a longer route. People are going to be upset. He's digging his claws into me. Um, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, oh, yes, you are. Um, yeah, people get upset if they have to pay too much money to get on the train. So we are not going to have you Vox. Vo no, we are because you're the stopping service. Ah, <sighs> dear, my everything. Right, so you are also coming south. Are you not? Yes, you are. Right, uh, south, ouch. He just keeps, he just wants to hurt me. That's all he wants to do. Mm. <laughs> oh, you are an absolute. Ah, I need to build the line. I knew that was wrong. Mm. I should try fly like this, shouldn't I? Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh, you just you just trying to get comp Oh, you've got gunk in your eye. Good boy. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a very good boy. Ha. Oh, I've just got to remember to turn off the cat cam when he goes away, because otherwise that's just awkward. No, don't go away. That wasn't me asking you to go away. Oh, you're just getting comfy again. Do you want me to move my chair back? There we are. Is that better for you, good sir? Do you... I think he feels more secure because, like, I'm leaning back. Stop it. You're bad. Right, so, yeah. So, from Wimbledon. Wimbledon. No, I need to build the... Build the blueprints. There we are. Wimbledon. So, what's going on here? Nothing. Cool. Right, so, from Wimbledon, we want to go... This one, so that's going to make use of the line, the new line. And we want to come to the left-hand side here. Come down. Which one are we using again? The right-hand side one. There, like that. And we're coming down. You're just everything going forward is just two platforms. So that's fine. I can do it nice and quickly from high up above. Meow, 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 meow. 
and then we're going to come in on the right hand side here and decay no 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 not in decay because we've already done that so we're going to go into L right lovely and then we're going to go all the way back up this is just Guildford imagine when I do LNER on here And then we want to do right hand side, so south side, and then south side again, and then north side, and then north side again, and then I've not missed one. I have missed, no, I've not. Earlsfield, Clipum, you, and then back home. Cool, let's buy some trains. We're going to buy six. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. So Guildford should now, in theory, what are we, nine o'clock on a Sunday night? It's got 50 people waiting. Some people are, look, people are leaving. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you're so cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at you. Ha ha. I've been expecting you. Oh, did a train come in? Yes, it did. Cool, so now we're coming into Monday. I am going to leave this to skip the day. And, uh, yeah. Shall we, shall we, shall we send a video to, to your mommy? And show her what we're doing. Who am I getting text messages from? Oh, him. Cool. Right. Let, let's show let's show your mommy what we're doing. Oh, we're on Thursday. Whoops. Right, so let me just let me just show where. Let me just show what we're doing. <laughs> there we are. We've got real life Ted TV. <laughs> Right. Well, my phone is deciding whether it actually wants to show people the video that I just took. Um. Ah. Uh, oh, problems. We've got some problems. Oh, he's he's turning upside down. Right. What are these problems? Uh, is this collision? You've crashed. Right. Wait, you're saying red. Oh, it's because you're on there and you mm, happy days. Cool. Right. So this is this is lovely. This is why we need um to Yeah. This is why we need signaling in our lives. Also, to be honest, what we could do to save the pain is um change Chessington to uh ah. What number are you? You are number five. Wimbledon F. So we're going to pause to do this. So we're going to get rid of Wimbledon F. And we're going to change it to Wimbledon H. But we're going to make that number five. And then what's the other one? The other number is 15. So stop number 15. We're going to get rid of you. So you're Wimbledon B. We're going to make you Wimbledon D. And we're going to make you number 15 again. There we are. So that now should mean that some of the trains at least will go straight on rather than messing around doing all sorts. <laughs> Just got back to us and see what she says. Cool. Right. So now, if we speed up a little bit, 
Oh, again? Right, so these guys, which one are you? You are... Waterloo to Epsom, right. Let's do the same thing again. So we're going to use you to H, move you up one. And what number are you? You are 17. 15, 16, 17. Get rid of you. Click on 15. Come back down to Wimbledon. What? Ah, uh, what? Oh, sorry, 17. And we're gonna D. So now that's the same as it was before. And we're gonna have to intervene with the train again, which is never good because it costs you money. So this one, refund risk due to fare. Oh, yeah, it's probably because they've been sat for days. Right, interventions, $700,000. Right, there we are, now they're gonna go straight on. Hey, happy days. We're gonna have another another wee zoomy forward just because uh, I'm gonna see if it, anything happens again. Which it shouldn't do because they're all good. How many passengers we've got? Ninety, ninety six there. And you guys are all happy. You are unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Oh, cause I don't know. There's loads of them. <laughs> You the same one with the unhappy people? No, you're not unhappy. You're very happy. Meow, 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 meow. Wah! Oh, you've got stuff in your eye. There you go. Not anymore. Right. So that, uh, you know, it's actual cat TV and not my titty TV. <laughs> right, so there we are. Guildford line is done. So we are going to leave this to run for Friday, see how much money we make from it, and then see if, if there's anything we can do. I mean, look at the money. Look at the money scream up. Way. £491 million pounds in the bank. Dollars in the bank. Whatever. Uh, right. Just letting Thursday do its thing. Wonderful. Like, let's have a look. No, no, we want line specific accounting. So Thursday. Chessington loads of compensation yesterday, so actually we almost lost money on Chessington. Oh, was that Yeah, so this has been because yeah. We're gonna let Friday run do its thing. <laughs> Right, cool. So we've let Friday run and do its thing. So let's have a look. Right, so compensations. Chessington, we almost lost money. Epsom, $629,000. Waterloo to Rains Park. No compensation, just a whole load of refunds. Why? Probably going to shout at me, not enough trains. Uh, but we still made 228,000 and now for the new line drum roll please 468,883 dollars so we issued over a hundred thousand dollars in refunds and yeah why refund fair too high what You're all happy. Fair's not too high. What are you on about? But yeah, no, so that is that lot done. Very nice, very good. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. He's like, why did I why did I sit up here? <laughs> A boop. A boop. Boop it. Go on, do it. Oh, get that stuff out of your eye. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Good boy.
Ha ha ha, that was my belly button. Why are you so mad, bruh? Um, right, so... If we go... I've lost my mouse. There it is. Um... Right, so what, what can we do now? Let's first of all actually find out. So we're going to run Saturday, see if we get as many compensations and things on the Chessington line. Obviously it won't be quite as much because there's not as much uh, on the line. Because it's Saturday. Yes, you were unhappy. Why were you unhappy accounting uh, yesterday? So yeah, we didn't, we've not had any today. Well, yesterday, sorry. How oh, strange, Chessington. Oh no, we. Oh no, that's Friday. Saturday. Refunds and competition. Why? Why though? I don't understand. No. You don't understand either, do you, Ted? Epsom everywhere has had compensations apart from Guildford yesterday. No line lost money. Mm, never mind. I take that back. Rains Park lost money due to the. Stupid amount of refunds, right? Why are you? Why are you so mad? Because of the whoa, those tickets are expensive, bro. Why is so expensive? Friends Park stops. I don't. Why? Right. If I just change you to zero. We zoomy zoomy forward a bit. So every every train has completed it. At least one lap. You're neutral. You're unhappy. Why are you still paying s silly amounts when I've taken away the pence per kilometer? Okay, if I do three and then point two, uh, one, is that gonna make everybody happy? Can't please everybody, but you know, they're not unhappy. You're very good. Why are you so good? You're why? Why are you so mad? <sighs> well, hopefully that should turn down the number of complaints we get anyway. this because he looks cute Right, so that's us done, what, four lines now? How many lines have we got? One, two, three, four, yeah. You're happy, you're all happy, cool. So. So, so, so. I think you're unhappy. I think it's timing as well. Because, yeah, I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and get another couple of trains. So we're going to get another two trains. And we're going to let it sort itself out, considering it's a Sunday as well. So there's not too many people that will hold up um, by uh, letting the train sort themselves out on a Monday. Right, there we are. Right, so it's currently 11 o'clock in the morning. Let's have a look at today. Compensation so far, quite a lot. But are you guys happier? Yep, you're very happy. You're not happy. Why? You're mediocre. And then again, you're from London. You're all mediocre comes to feelings don't show feelings you're what Enfield Gardens is this have I no I've definitely got all of them all of them are definitely rigged up you know all the stations are rigged up both ways not just one way because that will cause a lot of compensation as well because you can get on here if you want to go to that station You've got to go all the way down and back up. So, yeah, that can cause some, some issues, but that's not the case. Um, yeah, very weird. A bing bong. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, well, we've been live for almost two hours, so I think this is going to be a good place to call it a day for today. Uh, so this is basically... Um, this is basically what I'm going to be streaming, because I've got a new job, right? So I'm having to travel uh, travel around the country doing all sorts of bits and bobs. And, um, yeah, so I won't be streaming every day, you know, far from it. He's looking at himself like, why is there a cat on that screen? He doesn't like it. Um, aww. But, yeah, no, the... Um, I'm, I'm traveling around now, so uh, I won't be streaming every day or close to it. Um, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is something that's not too bad. If I have good Wi-Fi in the hotel, I'll be able to stream. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. We do this when I'm way out working, and uh, yeah, and we fly when I'm home. But yeah, okay, so if you're still sticking around or if you're watching later on, thank you very much from... Where is your other leg? Why are you sitting so weird? Oh yeah, because I put you like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching from me and the boy. <laughs> and uh, we shall catch you in the next live stream, which is probably going to be tomorrow. We might do some more of this. And um, on Tuesday, the fan will be coming for the laptop, so I will be able to start flying again. Touch wood. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Goodbye from the Tedro. Tedro, what's over here? What's over here?